Okay, my friends, how's it going? It's your friend JC in the house again. Well, today we're going to be making um, bolillos, easy bolillos, from our friend's channel on this Cooking Con Claudia. Um, she's going to be our fourth challenge. Um, this one, I can't really change nothing about it because, well, I've never made bolillos before, so this is going to be my first time ever doing it. But there's only a couple of ingredients in it, so there's nothing I can really change about it. So I'm going to do the um, recipe just like her and hope that they come out. But the only difference is I'm doubling the recipe. I'll be giving you guys uh, what I'm going to be putting in there. Um, but I'm not going to take the double X part because I'm just going to leave it as regular. But I'm, I'm doubling it though. Um, so let's go ahead and get on with our show, my friends. So with this, we're going to be doing four, eight, eight cups of flour, which I already have separated and everything. So what I need to do real fast is um, get this flour into our mixer real fast. I think about that when I put us all up here together like this, but give me one second. I'm just going to pour it all in here without making a mess on all of this, hopefully. Like I said, I have eight cups of flour right here. There we go. Now I'll bring it back right here. Okay. I have two teaspoons. Two teaspoons, my friends, of um, salt. Four teaspoons of sugar. Two tablespoons of um, active dry yeast. Quick acting. Okay. Put all of them together. Now, what I'm going to do also is I'm going to be putting in eight tablespoons of vegetable shortening or margarine. Because once I get these all in there, I'm not going to be able to just keep moving. I'm not going to move the machine around. I'm going to, um, I can pour the water in there easily after this starts incorporating. But I don't want to have to keep moving it or take it apart or throw stuff all over ourselves. I don't feel like making up a big old mess right now. Not my, my idea of a good time for today. No thank you, no thank you, no thank you. So it's just all this is, is one stick of margarine. That's just running whatever you like to call it. And that's it. For that part. Okay. Now I shall put I'll hook back on again. And now we'll lower this down. And get it sort of incorporating. There we go. Now we shouldn't have a mess on ourselves. Hopefully. The water about 110 degrees. I'm doing three and a half cups. I don't know if you see steam or not. I can.
Alright, come on in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just scrape this all down. So when it gets mixed really good, we're gonna have it knead in here for about 10 minutes on medium. Um and then we're gonna let it um, rest and rise for about an hour. And then go from there. What this had to do, this is what the our last thing had to do. Here we go. Alright guys, well, I'm gonna go ahead and do that with you guys in general. I'm gonna watch Hydra and watch this Um I'll be back when it starts to meet. Oh, that guy. So I'm to do what to do, as long as I'm going to do. Um, I let it run the last 10 minutes or so. It's done its job. It's ran its course. It's ready, I guess. I don't know. And now I'm going to set my hands. Because I need to grease up this <laughs> dough and get it in. That's a ball. Hopefully I can do it. A little bit, and then I'll let it rise. Like I said, this is my first time making bully so I don't know. I watched her video a couple times before I even attempted to try this. And not just a couple times today, I've watched it over the last couple months. A couple months. <laughs> And only hers, I didn't watch nobody else's, I just wanted to get the idea from her only. So, and you know when you're starting to do stuff, I'm not going to watch a video while I'm doing a video, so um, I'm trying to like go off ahead. I made notes and stuff and trying to stay on topic a little bit. I don't remember if she had needed it before she put it into the bowl. The bowl. I, I just remember the bowl. Um, I don't remember. It doesn't matter. It should come out anyways. I said stop it now. The way thing is to do whatever you want, however you want, make all the moves you want, bark all you want, do whatever, however, and I'm not supposed to tell you nothing. Yeah, whatever. Double in size. I'm gonna look at the crumbles there already. I love how the majority of all my balls, my big lids, hit them all. So, bam, boom. Now it's still tight. And I'm gonna put it on the oven, on the stove, and I'll be back in about an hour, an hour and a half. Bye, guys. Okay, my friends, welcome back. So, we're gonna go ahead and get this put together real quick. So, we're gonna deflate this, baby, and then make our balls from the same size.
some flour down right here. So that should be about half. I should get my scale on away, but I'm not. <laughs> As usual. All right, guys, here we go. Okay, so what's gonna happen is we're gonna cut each one of our two balls into eight pieces. That's not make a mess. Okay, so I'm gonna flatten that out just a little bit. And get it. Try that in half. Half. Um, these are gonna be off. <laughs> I'll fix them. I guess I'm going to baby once for the kids. So we're just going to roll it up into a ball. So I'm gonna roll out of my hands. We're gonna go ahead and put this on a grease cookie sheet. We're gonna let them sit and they're gonna rise again for a half an hour. And then we're gonna roll them into their shapes. So like I said, one the ball makes eight and I double it so we're gonna have 16 when I'm done. Alright, hit this one out, guys.
Be back in about half an hour or so. Okay, my friends, we are back, and we're going to go ahead and finish up making our bolillos. I already did. There's 16 of them that I rolled out that I have um, cut out, so I did 12 of them, and I left four to do on video with you guys because I said so. No, because it's easier to do four as compared to any other ones. Okay, so that's why I decided to do four because that'd be faster to get done. So before you guys um, put them in the oven or anything, you want to, um, after we get them and we roll them out, we want them to sit for at least 12 minutes to rise again. And then after that, we want to go ahead and um, um, get um, the oven preheated to 425. And you want to get um, a dish with water inside there. So um, an oven safe dish that happens, you put some water in. I put two of the um, loaf, loaf pans in there <clears throat> just to give it the water like that. And then after um, about 10 minutes or so, you um, t turn the heat down to 350 and you go ahead and cook them for 13 to 15 minutes until they're golden brown and they're done. Okay. So now we're up to get on this stuff. So what we're going to do is get them like this. I'm going to flatten out a little bit. Then you're going to slap them on the counter if you want to stretch them out. Okay. And you're gonna bring in the middle part, and then you're gonna go ahead and fold it in. Bring in the middle part, okay? Fold it in, because you're gonna make the middle part, you know, thicker. Fold it in. Bring the middle part. Fold it in. And like I said, when I when I doubled the recipe, I um, and because I didn't weigh out the dough, like I should have, um, I have different sizes, which is fine, because like I said, you have different sizes for everybody in the family. So, I mean, I don't have a problem making different sizes of anything because it's, you know, sometimes you feel like something bigger, something smaller, you know, then you have the kids and everything. So, you know, it is, it works out fine. So, if you make them however big you want, make them how small you want. You can make them into mini bolillos and everything. Make little um, finger foods, finger, finger sandwiches or whatever you want to make out of them. So, you know, possibilities are endless. Like I always tell you guys, possibilities is endless when you cook and do whatever you like to do. Endless possibilities. So then you want to get it, and since it's thicker in the middle, you want to go ahead and roll it out like a football in the middle, I mean on the edges. So just roll it out like a football. Okay, and then so it's like this, and then boom, bam, and put it onto the cookie sheet. Okay, get the next one. Slap, slap, slap. And this does make a mess. I have, my apron looks like I covered it in flour. And my clothes look like I'm covered in flour. <laughs> So I took a bath in flour, it looks like, um, and so it has the counters, so it has the floor, and so it has everything else. <laughs> so when I'm done, I'll have a big old mess to clean up, but it's okay, because it's like I said, it's fun to pitch food. You never know. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. So now, okay, I just want to roll it up just a little bit, and then get the ends, and then you just want to make it the bottom. And you can do it as as, as um, little or as big as you want. So it looks like a kind of reminds me of a little package. So you know, like during Christmas when you have those ones where it has like the candies or whatever inside of them. That's what that reminds me of right now. And then boom, boom, bam. Okay, and then you like I said, go to the middle, grab the sides, pull in the middle, grab the sides, pull in the middle, grab the sides, middle. Sides, middle, sides, and then roll. And then what I do is just slam it down. Just because it's fun. Helps with stress. So roll it out a little bit, get your ends, and make it look a ball. So I had put them all out to rise and everything. I had used two cookie sheets and to get them to cook, I have three. So it's not bad. Um, they're all different sizes, like I said, they're all different sizes. And it's all it's all fun, all in good fun and everything. Ready? Slam, 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 slam. Okay. So then go ahead and grab middle sides, middle sides, middle sides, middle sides. Middle sides, middle sides, 
middle slides and roll. And then toss. roll, roll. I'm gonna roll it just a little bit to make it a little bit longer. Toss it, toss it. Cause when we toss it, it starts to give it its shape again. And then roll, there we go. So we have on the tray five of them. You just pull them rise and then cut, what I'm gonna do right now. Cut, cause you wanna have a slit to let the, the um, heat and the exhaust come out. And there you go, so now I'm gonna cover it up. And then we're gonna go ahead and just let it <coughs> rise and then put it in the oven. Like I said, 425 for, for 10, 10 to 15 minutes. And then 350 for about 12 to 15. Then take them out, cover them up, let them um, cool, ready to go. So my friends, I'll see you guys in a little bit. And JC signing out till we're done. Bye friends. Okay my friends, I'm back. And we have our bolillos done, which I think they're cute and they're funny crazy because they're such different sizes and shapes. Like this one came out more like a, I guess like a French bread without, you know, the thing on it. I guess I didn't cut deep enough or maybe, I, maybe I did. I mean, you can see right here when the light, when the light hits it, where I had cut the slits. Cut the slit, cut slits, but they don't have the slits or nothing like that, how they usually do when they open up and everything. So but this is my first time doing them. So this is not, I don't consider this a bad job. And then I have one of the little ones right here. This looks like a, um, reminds me of a shell, a seashell. And like I said, they all came out just different shapes and sizes, which is fine. So Claudia, I'd like to thank you for sharing your recipes and your channel and everything with us. Um, and I'm happy that I finally did recipes. Uh, because I had realized I'd never done any of them. And so this was a fun challenge to do. And especially trying something different I haven't done before. And I've always wanted to make bolillos, but I had never done it yet. So thank you. And though they don't look like they should, because <laughs> um, that just takes some practice, but I think I'll get it down next time. But um, yeah, it looks good on the inside and everything else. So my friends, bon appetit. Bon appetit. Mm. This is delicious. I must say, I did a good job with this one. They don't look exactly how they should. They taste like they should, though. So, was a challenge? Well done. But, um, my friends, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Try the recipe. Mara said, there was not nothing I could change out of this one, so I did exactly how she did it. So I was learning, I learned how to do these exactly. I was watching the video, taking some notes. I might mess up here and there in a couple parts, but um, I was off my head for doing it for the first time, but I don't think it did too bad. The shapes are kind of close, not close enough. But hey, you live, you learn. So probably some will be able to do good. Um, so I'm Claudia, thank you very much for sharing everything, and I appreciate you. And um, until the next time, guys, the next video, remember that they can't do in the kitchen, you can't play with your food. And there's nothing wrong with ever learning something anytime, brand new. Because, I mean, this was fun, and I had a good time doing it. And until the next time, guys, JC signing out, and bon appetit, and I will be seeing you in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs> I love this. Bye, guys.